Hey everybody, happy Tuesday. Welcome to the madness. Cooking in Brooklyn <laughs> with the Coney Island Franks. Oh, get out of here. <laughs> Eddie, do it. Whoa, it's like magic. He like practically gets wings when he flies up here. Look at him. Look at him. In this spot is supposed to be my car, but that's at the Kia dealership. Also, we really need to power wash here. And somebody left some trash on the lawn. Come on. So we didn't post a video today, um, and all is fantastic in the Cheap Seats house. Jesse was sick, so yesterday, the reason why we didn't film anything or put anything up is we spent the night at Centricare and doing all the great things, in addition to finding out um, through the mailbox that someone had, again, um, been applying for like credit cards and everything using my information. So longtime viewers of the channel may remember um, my identity was stolen. Um, that was going back to March of this year, I think, or June of this year. No, March, yeah, March, of this, March of this year. Yeah, March of this year. I'm losing track of the months. Um, and at the time, what they do in America, at least for um, viewers overseas, is that they put like a three month hold on your account so that um, there's you know any type of fishy activity gets squashed. Those three months basically ran out and as soon as the three month period ran out, um, a flurry of credit card um, requests went through using my own social security number. Um, so there's probably like 10 different requests that went out there. So today, spent the day having fun, going through trying to, to reconcile everything that was applied for and all that good stuff and putting a squash on things. Um, I did have to sign up for LifeLock. Anybody who actually uses LifeLock and watches the channel, please leave a comment below and let me know what you think of uh, their service. I looked at it as just another precaution to know that when something is opened up at that moment that I'm informed right away so that I can say yes or no type of thing. Of course, this is a detriment because while we're in Mary's car, we're going to the dealership to pick up my car where the air conditioning broke the other day and we really didn't want to fix anything, although it's within the warranty because we were looking to buy cars, which now of course gets more difficult because my identity was stolen and people have taken my credit information, which means that my credit score goes down because of all the inquiries on the account. So, awesome times. Added to that final last piece that last night, one of our viewers let us know that somebody else from like YouTube had created a dummy account and basically stole all of our videos and re-uploaded them. So we're trying to work with YouTube today to get that channel shut down and all of those videos taken out. So the other day when we filmed that video when we were in Claremont and I said we had that black cloud hanging overhead, it really needs to get out of here at this point. <laughs> So as we're driving in Mary's car, it is very old. This was the car that I was driving initially. Well, this is a whole other series. Like we went through a litany of cars when uh, we moved here um, and I kind of settled on getting what is probably considered to be an old person's car now, this PT Cruiser. Mary loved it, I loved it. Even when we get new cars, I think we still want to keep this car, at least put it in the garage because I'd like to fix it at some point because it kind of has that real retro type Hot roddy type you can make feel. It look into Herbie. Yeah, it look, looks really cool. But in the meantime, Herbie. Jesse said, This has been the longest time since she sat in the back seat of this car, and look what she found. 2003 Orlando Almanac. OG style, before we had um, any type of GPS or phones that had GPS, um, we did the Almanac style. I used that like the Bible when we moved here so that I could find where I needed to go and it's still preserved in this drivable museum. <laughs> back and blurry. Ah, focus now. Crane's Juice Park. We're gonna get our walking on and our Pokemon Go on. Look at our run. So we wanted to see how popular the game still was. Time is kind of creeping on. It looks like there's just as many people playing it now. Last week they said there was approximately 15 million users a day, I think, that are playing the game at the same time, which is more than people using Twitter. That's amazing. Check out the water. It all looks like it's drizzling out there, but I don't feel it. 
they put these signs up around the park now to tell you what time the hours are and they've added extra police because people have been staying here all night holy cow there's even more people here now than there was last week it's like the secret is out look at this we have people playing horns as they go around the park here Star Wars. Check it out. There's five turtles here. One, a two, a three, four, a five. Five turtles. Actually six. There's one behind the pole. That's awesome. Seven. It's like a turtle factory here. Squirtle, squirtle. Jesse is busy fighting a gym and losing. Yeah. Losing badly. Crane's roost. We're out of here. 9.45 at night. Exercise around the park. A couple of Pokemon. Exercise around the park. That's the takeaway. Stopping by the post office to see if we got any packages. Oh, an American Express. Woohoo! Box I. This is a gigantic box. Let's see what's in here. Woohoo! It's a gigantic box. We will open this tomorrow. I think we're going to do a Q&A tomorrow night. It is so humid outside, but as a result, there's a ton of lightning happening. Hopefully, maybe we get a couple of blasts here. Come on, Sky, do your. Whoa! Look who it is! Ed Grimley! I mean, it was very decent of you, I must say! Alright, we're gonna end this where we started this in front of the fridge. Wait, did you like my message? Stay positive, pass it on. For realsies. I'm the pun master, <laughs> not Alexa the stupid robot. Oh, by the way, the way that, why did Jesse said Alexa? Because I said she, we no longer need the pun bucket because Alexa knows puns. So, Alexa, tell me a pun. What hotel does a fancy cheese stay at? The Ritz Cracker. Oh! She's out of a job. <laughs> anyway, um, we're going to sign off for now. Back tomorrow with the Q&A, we'll put on Twitter, send us questions, we'll give you answers. Hashtag AskVFTCS, we'll answer as many as we can, we'll open the package that we got in the mail. So on that note, thank you for all of your likes. Your comments. Thank you for your subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great night. See you everybody. Bye bye.